the Simple Minds Maiden Hurdle next to the small field for this one. Pretty sure we had a Simple Minds race last week. That's Gray's favourite band, so I think he's slipping in as many Simple Minds as he can. It's a three mile maiden this time. And the top one is Chapter One for Kevin Meenahan, Drum Huller for Alex Cherry, Jamming Jimmy's Joint for Stu Gray, Pace Ashton Lord for Martin Lead and Vanguard Gene Dream for Obi Wan, Your World Within, Joshua Sutherland, Benny Sinatra was Molly at Surfer, and the bottom one was Ruther Glenn for David Roberts, and they're already on their way towards the first flight. And they've got just the 10 to take in this one. So not that many hurdles to negotiate. And Drum Haller is the leader. No John Morgan and no Derek Hinton. We might be struggling for pace in this race. And Drum Haller looks like it's going to be the one to take them along at a bit of a crawl as they make their way towards the first of the 10 flights. And Drum Haller gets over in front. The rest of them will jump it nicely sorted themselves out where they want to be. Nothing seems all that keen to go particularly quickly and Drumhall has got an uncontested lead of about four lengths. From Your World Within, Pace Ashton and Lord and Chapter One are all together. And Brother Glenn and Vanguard Dreams, the one that's wide on the track, the grey at the back, is jamming Jimmy's joint and the Molliette surfer horse is Benny Sinatra. So they're over two now then. Passing down towards the next. And Drumhall up got a good lead about probably five or six lengths nobody seems all that concerned about letting him slip the field jockey's got a good hold on him as well so he's not going anywhere near full pelt and this race will take a while drum haller in the lead by six lengths to your world within on the inside the yellow capture of the glen that one's outside German flag colours of Benny Sinatra. Or Molly at Surfer, Kevin Meenhan's chapter one is after that one. Then Vanguard Dream, Pace Ashton Lord and Jamming Jimmy's Joint. And the two commentators are at the back. Last and last but one as per usual. And Drumhaller is in the lead. The third commentator's not got one in this, so I'm sure he's in the back there with this as well. And it's Drumhaller in front as they skip over to third. And Mother Glen second, your will within third. Benny Sinatra, Chapter 1, and Vanguard Dream. A little gap back to Jamming Jimmy's Joint. And Pace Ashton Lord as they take the fourth. We'll safely over that one. Watch out for the pull-up kit chaps as they start the final circuit. This is a three-mile race, isn't it? Once you get up to three miles, you know the pull-up kit's going to come into effect at some point. And at least one or two of these will get pull, pulled up great need for them to be either usually and it's Drumhaller he's clear in front about four lengths to Benny Sinatra second they're almost four in a line there with all the within Mother Glen chapter one and Vanguard Dream Jamie and Jimmy's joint and pace Ashton Lord again a little bit closer oh and there you go there's the first one of the pull-up kit and it was a horse in second place Benny Sinatra how ridiculous is that unless that one's been injured then that's a Rather strange thing to have happened. And Drum Haller. We have to look at the card at the back, but we don't want anything to get injured. But let's hope he is injured, because otherwise it'd just be a complete farce as they take the sixth. And, and another one. Van Vanguard Dreams going now as well. So we've still got a mile and a quarter to go, and we've only got six of them left. And we haven't had a faller. Had two horses pull up with mile and a quarter still to go and the pace has been so slow there's absolutely no cause whatsoever for either of those to be being pulled up unless they were injured so drum it is then who's in front i'll stop griping pace ashton lord moves into second then your world within and rather glenn chapter one also still there and jamming jimmy's joint is just the back marker we've got a mile to race so we don't see too many more casualties and Drumhaller has been in the lead all the way. Now being out jumped there though by Pace Ashton Lord who hits the front. And Pace Ashton Lord in the lead then. By about a length to Drumhaller second. Then Your World Within. Chapter 1. Jamming Jimmy's joint creeping up on the outside. That's back from last season isn't it? Brother Glenn is the back marker. It's Pace Ashton Lord who was on the flat last year in the lead from Drumhaller in second. Good jump over that one. That was the 8th. They've got two more to take. And... Pace Ashton Lord and Drumhaller are about three lengths clear of the remainder. 
with your will within, just being pushed along. Then chapter one, jamming Jimmy's joints to a piece. Again, there's another one pulled up, and this time it's Brother Glenn. So I'm sure this is going to be some discussion in the forums about this because three of the eight have pulled up win in contention really and pace ashton lords in the lead drum haller is second chapter one is in third then comes your world within and then jamming jimmy's joint any of these could still win this and chapter one has gone into the lead by about half a length pace ashton lord though has got the rail Drum Hallis looking for a second win. Jamming Jimmy's joint been threatening to run on all the way through the race. And surprisingly, your world within the me top stable in the field is the one struggling at the back as they come down towards the final two furlongs. And Pace Ashton Lord, chapter one. Here comes Jamming Jimmy's joint over the second last they go. It's Pace Ashton Lord in the lead. Chapter one. Jamming Jimmy's joint down towards the final flight. It's Pace Ashton Lord on the inside. Jamming Jimmy's joint in the ground. The center track looks to be going best of all. Down towards the final flight they go. Jamming Jimmy's joint over in the lead. Pace Ashton Lord trying to chase. Then chapter one. Your world within is running on. But this is one for still. I think Jamming Jimmy's joint is going to take it. And up towards the line. Jamming. Jimmy's joint has got enough to hold on. Jamming Jimmy's joint take it. You're within second. Then Pace Ashton Lord was next. Drum Haller after that one. Chapter one at the back of a curious race. And Jamming Jimmy's joint takes it for Stu Gray. Your world within. Joshua Sutherland was second. Pace Ashton Lord was third. Drum Haller was fourth for Alex Cherry. And chapter one for Kevin Meenahan was fifth. And those pulled up horses, none of them were injured.